everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Christine for Leading Lady Makeup, and today I want to talk to you guys about your makeup brushes. I know it can be really overwhelming to go into a makeup store like a Sephora and see just a ton of makeup brushes and thinking that you have to buy all of them and they're all so expensive. So I'm just going to walk you through the very basics that every woman should have um, at home to apply their makeup and then I'm going to walk you into a more intermediate level. So those of you who already have basic brushes and are kind of ready for that next step, I have some stuff for you too. Okay, let's get started. For the everyday woman, no matter how old you are, how young you are, who you are, how much makeup you wear, you should have these four brushes. You need to have something for your face. Now this is a blush brush. It's kind of like a smaller little um, round domey brush. And this is used for the cheek. And you can also use this to apply powder all over your face. So this is just going to be a perfect little um, brush. You don't want it to be too big. That way you can still do bronzer and blush as well as your powder. So you're going to need three eyeshadow brushes for your eyes. Um, I always recommend for everyone to have one flat brush like this one. This is used to apply the um, eyeshadow onto the lid and the brow bone. You'll need something fluffy like this little guy. Anything that's kind of a fluffy domed brush like this will work. This is used for buffing in um, into the crease of the eye. Very essential. Do not try to do a smoky eye or anything other than just a solid color on your eyelid without this brush. It's super important. And last but not least is a nice little angle brush like this guy. Um, this is great for filling in your eyebrows with eyeshadow. It's also great for anything liquid. You can do liquid eyeliner with this. You can do shadow liner. Any kind of eyeliner and any kind of um, thing you're doing with your eyebrows, this is the perfect brush for that. Now that we've gone over the basic brushes, I'm going to walk you into kind of the more intermediate world. Um, I've got a few of my favorites here. Okay, so for the girl who's looking to maybe contour a little bit more um, with your bronzer, this is a great brush. This one is an angled blush brush. This is a great little brush. It's already angled off for you, so all you have to do is stick it right underneath your cheekbones and get that nice little contour. Another trick I like to use with this one is I like to squish the hairs down like this and kind of just contour my nose, under the chin, and other areas that are smaller. Another one that I absolutely love is any kind of fiber optic brush like this. This one is super small and I absolutely love this for applying concealer underneath the delicate eye area. This just gets all that concealer buffed in. It gives you a very airbrushed look. Um, so if you can and you're willing, this is a great brush to invest in. And notice that it's completely flat on the top too. It's not rounded. Another fiber optic brush that I love is the much bigger one. This is the face fiber optic brush. This particular one is from MAC. It's the 187. Um, they kind of came out with them first and then all of a sudden all the other makeup companies started coming out with them. So these are really, really easy to find. Um, they're just kind of a newer brush. Um, but this is great for applying powder, loose powder, uh, pressed powder, any kind of um, shimmer on top of the cheekbones. These little uh, fiber optic bristles at the top make it so that you only apply a little bit of product at a time, which is really great. Foundation. So this is the typical paintbrush type of foundation brush. This is wonderful for applying um, foundations all over your face. You can kind of give yourself like the football marks all over and then you can blend in with your fingers or you can actually use that to buff in if you have extra time in the morning, your whole foundation. I want to take you a step further with these fluffy brushes. So this is the one that I originally recommended for you guys. Now if you have something like this and you're looking for kind of something skinnier to get right in that tiny edge of the crease right here like I kind of have, then you want to go with a tinier, um, finer haired brush like this one. Do you see the difference between the two? The one um, on this side is a lot more fat. It's like a fat fluffy brush, so that's going to help with lighter colors to get into the crease. And then for darker colors or smoky eyes or a particular application that you're looking for just in that tiny little angle in the outer corner, then you want something a little bit skinnier like that guy. Uh, this one's the 217, this one's the 224. However, a lot of different makeup companies, if you can't afford these ones, um, also make them. So, all right. Also for those of you who are advanced and want to kind of create a really cool smoky eye is the pencil shaped brush. That's what I call this little guy. You can see it's got like a very um, fine little tip right there. This is amazing for under the eye, just buffing the color in. And anyone with a smaller eyelid who um, feels like the other brushes are a little too big, this is actually fantastic for your crease. 
Sometimes I use this on um, customers who have, or clients who have uh, smaller lids or just a tiny little face. Sometimes this one helps a little bit more than the fluffy brushes I showed you earlier. And for those of you who are liquid liner extraordinaires and kind of graduated from the angle brush that I showed you earlier, um, a pointy brush like this is also ideal. This one's from the art store, um, but a lot of different makeup companies make these as well. Very, very fine hairs and will really give you that smooth, crisp eyeliner application with anything liquid and anything gel based. So if you're one of those people who really wants a precise lipstick application and doesn't want to apply it from the tube, a lipstick um, lip brush is another option for you. This one's retractable. I always like these. If I'm going to buy a lip brush, I'd like it to be a retractable one or one that comes with a cap just so you could throw in your purse and it will really help you get that defined line. Okay, so now that I've showed you all of my brush recommendations for beginner and intermediate, I want to go into how to take care of these babies because once you buy these, I mean, they are very expensive, so you want to make sure that they last you your whole life. Okay, so a couple different things. You want to clean them. Let's see. You want to clean your brushes about once a week, um, more if you're breaking out. So what you want to do is get a brush cleanser. Every company makes these brush cleansers. Usually they're a mix of like alcohol, sanitizers, and just conditioners for the brushes. Um, so what you want to do is just squirt a little bit on a paper towel like I've done here. And then you just swirl. As you can see, I've already used it, but you can just kind of swirl the brushes on there. And what these brush cleansers will do is dry your brushes immediately, so you'll be able to use them right away. This is a special PSA. I am begging you guys, do not let your angle brushes get caked up with um, cream liners. I hate that. It ruins the brush, and you won't be able to get a smooth application that you're looking for. <laughs> Now that I've shown you how to clean them um, on a weekly basis, I want to show you how to deep clean your brushes. What I recommend is kind of getting like a little mug or bowl or something like that and just dedicate that for your makeup brushes. I fill it about um, just like a quarter of the way with uh, warm water. Once you have the warm water in there, um, I do like to mix my cleansers up. I use a shampoo and I actually use a brush cleanser. So I'll squirt a little brush cleanser and this will really disinfect the brushes if you've been breaking out. Um, if you've used your brushes on your friends or other people, it will clean off everything from that. And then I use a shampoo to really get all the dirt and the hairs and all the yucky stuff out of the brushes themselves. Do not use hand antibacterial soap because they will dry out the hairs on the brush use a shampoo. I got this one from a hotel I was staying at. I like to collect the little ones and just dedicate them for my brushes. You can use Suave, you can use anything. It can be cheap, it can be high-end. As long as it's a shampoo and it's for hair, it's going to be good for your brushes. So what you want to do is just um, hot, warm water, brush cleanser, and shampoo, and then swirl your brushes in there and leave them in there just for about 30 seconds to really loosen the gunk and then take it out rinse it and reshape the brush just like this with your hands and always lay them flat to dry. If you lay them upwards to dry, the water will trickle down into the fennel of the brush right here and it will loosen the hairs and that's when you're going to see a lot of hair fall out from the brushes. Okay guys, I know that was a lot of information but I hope it helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I hope you guys are staying warm. It's so cold outside. I'm here with my tea and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.